Hello Libras. Last reading I did, um, I got that you're about to see why it didn't work out with anyone else. Uh, there might be a coworker that wants to ask you out, someone in your energy field, someone that's watching you. So we'll just see what the cards want to say. Whatever wants to come out here, st the star. So yeah, you planted the seeds for this. I think that you had a lot of um, heavy ten of wands. I think that you had a lot of heavy burdens on your shoulders, or that you had them on your shoulders at least. A lot of um, stress, maybe societal pressures, um, caring too much about what other, what other people think, uh, lots of responsibilities, and I feel like you're kind of letting go of that weight now. You're letting go of the things that have held you back because you want to manifest this. You want to manifest what the what you know you've been planting these seeds, and you want that to manifest now. You know, you want your rewards. You want what you've been working so hard for. You've been so patient and so strong and so persistent. And you're realizing that you have to let go of the dead weight. You have to let go of the things that are just stressing you out and no longer serving you. You have to lighten the load a little bit and, you know, make sure to have fun so that you can have these peaceful times ahead. The Four of Wands, the Devil card. the magician yeah you have some devil energy but I feel like with the magician card here it's like you're able to manifest yourself out of it you're able to get out of it king of cups I feel like people don't want to see you together or people are jealous of you I feel like this is an interesting energy It feels like you're coming through it, whatever it is. I mean, this might not necessarily be another person. This could be you. This could be your own fears and your own insecurities and, you know, things that have been holding you back that you're working through. But for others, I think this is actually a jealous person. This could be a karmic ex. This could just be someone like a frenemy type, like someone that's just kind of jealous of you. They don't want to see you doing better than them. Or maybe you both like the same person. It could be something of that sort. Like maybe you all work together and they, they like this person too. Because it's like you're trying to have these peaceful times and then for whatever reason the devil energy comes up. And the devil energy, this could, like I said, for some, there's two different stories here. For, so for some of you, this isn't actually a person. If this is a person, another person that's competitive with you, I think that you already know about it. Like intuitively, I think you will have felt this energy already. For others, I just feel like this is just you. Like you you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. You have so much pressure. Maybe some of you are in manager positions. Maybe just, you you know, a lot of people look up to you. You have a lot of responsibilities. And you just want peace. You want this meditative kind of energy. You want quiet. You want a vacation. You want some rest. You want to just kind of be able to relax. And then it's like you get in your head or you just have all these pressures and you know you get in this kind of devil energy where it's like you're just kind of I don't want to say you're wasting your life away but for some of you it's almost like I mean maybe you have to work a nine to five job or you have to do certain things like you have certain obligations or certain people that rely on you and so it's just this pattern like this cycle where it's like they keep draining you or like a certain job or a certain person or situation keeps draining you and keeps taking up all your time and attention and energy and you know it's kind of saying like you know lighten the load a little bit if you can if there is a way to do that because you can't carry the weight of the world on your shoulders eventually you're going to burn yourself out eventually you're going to get to that point where you just don't have the energy for anything or anyone so don't let yourself get burnt out for those of you that I just have a lot on your plate like Try to take some try to take some of that stuff off your plate because the with this current energy where you're going, it's like it's just it's too much. It's too much pressure. And don't like you don't want to give all of yourself to a nine to five job. I mean, I know it's hard, it's like easier said than done because like it's like, yeah, you need money. What are you gonna do? But I don't know, maybe don't hit, don't pick up as many shifts. Maybe ask for a day or two off. Just you need to ground yourself. You need to kinda rest and, and heal and just have some peace some of this energy that just makes life worth living just so you can think clearly you know what I mean for others though and that's just for a few of you for a lot of you I feel like this could be a jealous person 
that's competitive with you and it's like you want this peace you just want things to be simple and smooth and easy but you have this person that wants to block you whatever this devil energy to rep represents to you for some this is addictions for some this is um you know just negative patterns this could be a person but it's something that's trying to block you but you're the magician i think that you're strong and you're independent and I think that you've been planting the seeds to manifest this person for a while. So I think that you're going to win this battle. I think that you're going to have your true love. But like I said, for some of you, it's like you might be competing with someone else for this person's attention. Maybe like if you're coworkers or you're all friends, it's like this other person has their eye on them too. But I feel like, I feel like your king of cups or queen of cups is intuitive enough to know that this other person is in devil energy and that you're in the magician energy. Like they're going to... They might be intimidated by the energy between this this whole energy dynamic between all three of you, but I feel like they're they're also gonna know what's right for them. I, I feel like they're a little bit too smart to get sucked into this seductive kind of devil energy. Um, and I feel like, you know, this is yours. I think that you've been manifesting this for a while now, so I don't think that this person's gonna be able to just come in and take it that easily, even if this person is very attractive. I think that you're the queen of swords, like you're more powerful. Um, yeah, it's like this, this, this almost like a competition between a queen of swords and a knight of wands kind of energy. And this could be male or female, but it's like, you're the queen of swords, like you're strong, you're independent, you're powerful, you're logical. And then this other person wants to just kind of rush in, they're fiery, they're passionate. But I just feel like Like, the Emperor is going to want his match, his or her match, to be the Queen of Swords, though. Like, they're not... They might find this person attractive, but I feel like, ultimately, they're not going to get dragged into this person's drama. Because this other, this other person, if this is a third party, this other person is attractive. Like, they're beautiful, they're seductive, but they're not stable at all. They're not mentally stable, and this person's probably going to see through that. And they're not going to want that. They're going to want you, because you're more stable, you're more grounded, you're more logical... There's going to be some truth and some, there's going to be some truth coming out about, out about this situation. Truth, clarity, five of cups, ten of cups. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here of like letting go of things that are no longer serving you. Like you really do have to kind of lighten the load a little bit here. Five of cups typically is about like loss regret it's like pain it's it's like losing something i kind of in this context though i see it more as like let that ship sail away let the things that are no longer serving you just sail away don't stay in a dead end job just because you know you're you feel guilty because your manager you know might have a hard time finding someone to replace you you know what i mean like don't don't stay in a dead end situation don't don't like some of you are like caretaking for like an elderly person and it's not I'm not saying like abandon them of course you shouldn't abandon them like I'm a caretaker myself actually so I, I get it like but you know ask your tell your brothers or sisters like hey I need help with this situation this is just for like one or two of you like some of you need to find some help with this situation and people are bullying you and kind of saying oh we can't and it's like all the the pressure and all the obligations are on you and it's like not saying abandon the person, but like you need some help. You you need even if you have to hire someone, I think a lot of you do need some some kind of assistance so that you don't burn yourself out. You're already getting burnt out. So it's kind of saying like let these ships sail away. Don't try to don't let people guilt trip you into doing things that you can't physically or mentally or emotionally do anymore. Don't let people don't stay stuck in dead end situations because, you know, because you feel bad for the person involved. And like I said, I'm not saying to abandon, if you're taking care of an elderly person, there's no way that I'm saying to abandon them. I'm saying, like, maybe try to get some help. Try to reach out to other family members and say, hey, like, I just need a few days off. Can you come out out of town? Can you just come for a few days and take care of them just so I can have just like a little, just some time to myself, just some time to breathe. Like, you know, speak your, you know, communicate your needs is basically what I'm saying here. Let these ships sail away. And I think that's going to lead you to the Ten of Cups. For some of you, there might be some loss and disappointment and pain, but you're ultimately going to end up being happy, is what I feel. Yeah, for some of you, there are some endings coming in here. 
but it's not bad because you're looking at things in the long term, you know, mutual give and take, mutual energy exchange, instead of just giving all yourself away and burning yourself out. Some of you are going to be cutting ties with family, but you know what, you're going to be the high priestess. You might be nostalgic at times, it might hurt at times, but ultimately, like, there was miscommunication or silence or it just, it, you guys weren't seeing eye to eye. They weren't acknowledging your pain, and so it's ultimately for the best that you let that situation go. Yeah, some of you are defensive because you're afraid of being in poverty, but it's like, you know what, like, you can't... I hate to say it like this, but some of you are letting capitalism drain you, basically. And I get it. It's hard not to. It's it's hard not to because, I mean, it's part of society. It's like how we live. Like, what, what are you going to do? But some of you are, like, giving the best years of your life away to that. Some of you are working, like, 40, 50 hours a week, and it's like, this is, like, the prime of your life. And it's like, I'm not saying that to quit your job. I'm just saying, like, ask for some time off. Do something. Meditate in the morning. Do do you know take a take a bath after work just do something that's good for you because you're burning yourself out and you need soul retrieval at this point from an experienced legit shaman honestly and it just seems like your energy just needs to be restored however you go about doing that you just need to make some choices that are just for you that are just healthy for you putting yourself first doing what's right for you and not giving and giving and giving so much to other people um, but I do feel ultimately like love is is here for you. Um, I do feel like there is a competition for some of you with another person, but I feel like ultimately like you're probably going to be winning that situation. I feel like, let's see. For some people, it could be you. You could be letting go of someone and you could be, you know, manifesting this, this, um, new person so i hope that makes sense if you'd like a private reading my email is below i appreciate any donations my donation link is also below um please subscribe if it resonates thanks for watching